In this devotional, I'm going to share with you three thoughts from Luke chapter 9, verses 57 through 62, where I'll ask the question, what does following Jesus cost? Luke chapter 9, verses 57 through 62 says, As they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another he said, Follow me. But he said, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. And Jesus said to him, Leave the dead to bury their own dead. But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Yet another said, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first say farewell to those at my home. Jesus said to him, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Jesus has some difficult words for folks who are actively following him and really seeking to engage him more. Jesus tells them straight up, Hey, following me comes with a price. You actually have to be willing to give up a whole lot in order to follow Jesus. And one of the strange things about modern evangelical efforts is that we are trying to downplay the cost of following Jesus when he himself, when he had bundles of followers asking him what they needed to do in order to follow him, he made sure that the price was extravagant. It was exceptionally difficult to follow him. So here are three thoughts from Luke chapter 9, verses 57 through 62, answering the question, what does following Jesus cost? Thought number one, physical comfort. Jesus tells the first man who wants to follow him, he says, foxes have holes, birds have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Essentially, what he's saying is that if you're going to follow me, you have to be willing to give up all physical comfort. Not just physical comfort, but material possession. You have to give up standing in the world. You have to give up having a home. you got to be willing to sacrifice everything that you could ever own or ever hope to obtain in order to follow Jesus. The price is high. It's high. You need to be willing to give up your physical comfort to where instead of having a place to lay your head, instead of having a place where you can go home and be comfortable and feel safe and feel secure, if you're going to follow Jesus, you need to be willing to let all of that stuff go. And if you're in the West, as I am, that's a really difficult order. It's really difficult to follow. Because right now, there's nobody who demands from me my physical well-being or my physical comfort in order to follow Jesus. But as pressure rises against Christianity, well, that price might eventually come due. And it's something for all of us to consider who are following Jesus. Thought number two. Familial peace. One person says, let me go home and bury my dad. And I've heard different explanations about this, that what they're saying is, wait till my family obligations are finished, like my parents die, so then I can bury them, tidy up all of my family responsibilities, and then I'll come and follow you. But what does Jesus say? He says, let the dead bury their own dead. He says, if life is what is important to you, if you believe that I have the words of life, then you would follow me and you wouldn't worry about those who are dead. That seems awfully harsh, but you have to be willing to give up your familial peace in order to follow Jesus. You have to be willing to sacrifice the closest possible relationships that you will ever have. You need to be willing to give those up in order to follow Christ. Jesus says, let the dead bury their own dead. He's saying, allow your family to live on without you if they would have none of me. But instead, have me, and it will be enough. That's a tall order and a high cost for following Jesus. Thought number three, social acceptance. Social acceptance, one person says, just let me go home and let me say goodbye to everybody. Let me tell them all that I'm leaving so that way they won't worry about me. And Jesus says, listen, if you're going to follow me, you need to follow me and follow me now. You need to do it now. Don't wait. If these things are true, and the truth is what's important, then you would follow me now and you wouldn't worry about what these other folks are thinking about. I don't know that that's the message that the church is putting out there today, that we need to follow Christ, even if it means that we are doing that which is socially unacceptable, that we need to follow Christ, even if it means that we're ostracized from the rest of the community. But that's what Jesus tells us. 
That's what he tells these folks who are actively interested in following him. He tells them that the price for following him is high. That any excuse that you have for, oh, I'll catch up with it later, it isn't good enough, it isn't worthwhile. Because ultimately you are trading the truth for a lie. And that is something that we ought never do. What does following Jesus cost? Everything. It costs everything. But what is it worth? It's worth everything. It's worth sacrificing everything to follow Jesus because he is, in fact, the way, the truth, and the life. These three thoughts come from the assigned reading of Luke chapters 9 and 10. If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can do so by subscribing to this channel, by clicking on the link in the description, or by joining the Facebook group Through the Bible, where we are reading the text of Scripture together.